Hi, welcome to another episode of Talking with Docs. I'm Dr. Paul Zalzal. And I'm Dr. Brad Weening. Okay, we had a question. Okay. Uh, actually, I get this question almost every day. Okay. Is when is it okay to shower after I've had surgery? So like a hip replacement or a knee replacement or any kind of surgery where an incision's been made, yep. an incision's been closed, when is it safe to have a shower after? So the first thing I would say is you should always discuss it with your surgeon because I think there's probably a wide variety of guidelines, but we're going to give you our guidelines for, for dealing with wounds and when to shower. Yeah, I think so. Okay, what do you say? Well, in our case, people will have a shower before they leave the hospital, which is one or two days, okay? So if, we've, uh, if you've had an incision and then you have some sort of impermeable dressing on it, so some sort of waterproof dressing on it, yep. then you're okay to have a shower. Okay, Which we use commonly here. It's almost like a sticky saran wrap kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, and water can't get into it, so the wound is protected, so you yep. can have a shower. And then usually the dressing will get changed before the person goes home, yep. and it's still a waterproof, a waterproof dressing. So in that setting, you can have a shower whenever because the wound is protected. Yeah, and then what I tell people is just pat it dry. If the dressing gets compromised in some way, clean the wound with alcohol or peroxide or something, and then put a new impermeable dressing on. Right, okay. Okay, so that's the, that's the easy answer. Easy You've answer. got a waterproof dressing, so Jimmy cracked corn, you yeah. can have a shower or whatever. Okay. But what if you don't have a waterproof dressing on, or when is it okay to get that wound wet? Okay, so if you do not have a, but you still have a dressing on? Yeah, you might have a dressing on, or sometimes people take the dressing off after a few days. So if the dressing's off, and say so you had intact staples, um, and it was clean and dry, so as long as there was no active drainage from the wound, I would let my patients shower. Um, understand that I don't care if water kind of drips past it, I just don't want it submersed in the water. So I would say you could dry, you know, then same thing, pat it dry and then cover it as needed. But if it's, if it's draining anything, sorry, no shower. Okay, I, I give them two days. I say, you know, okay. if after an incision or after the clips come out, it takes two days sure. for that wound to sort of epithelialize. Yep. So it gets sort of waterproof. Uh, not enough for soaking in a tub or anything like that, but just no. let water run off. It's the same, just pat it dry after. Yeah. But I agree with Dr. Weenie. If, if the wound has any signs of delayed healing, like drainage, redness, or anything like that. Looks a little mucky. Yeah, it looks a little mucky. Then I'd be worried, I'd be worried that there's still communication with the soft tissues underneath. So maybe hold off or put some sort of waterproof dressing on. Yeah, so I agree with, I agree with the staples. So commonly at, at two weeks, usually when we see our patients, staples out a couple days and then they can then they can shower. So what are you, what are you talking about a bath or a hot tub? Okay, I get so the hot tub question a lot. Or this, swimming pool. This is different now. Before we were showering, water's just gonna be running down. Now you're soaking in, in water. Yeah. Uh, especially hot tubs, they're not always the cleanest water in those. Yes. Um, so I, I don't let people uh, soak Probably for, you know, I'd wait till the wound is healed completely. The yeah. clips are out. Yes. And then I'm usually about a week after. after I would that. agree. So I'm like no scabs. Yeah. Because like sometimes it can be clean and dry, but there could be a scab that even nags on for a couple of weeks. I'm like no scabs. I want the skin to look like a almost healed incision. Yeah. So you want that thing to be healed and look like it's there's no more incision there. Yeah. Uh, scabs is a good a good measure of it. Obviously, and, no drainage or bleeding. Or anything and like swimming that. pool for me is the same thing. I, yeah. I advise people though, like getting in and out of a tub, in and out of a hot tub, in and out of the pool. That introduces yeah. a whole other risk outside of the wound. So you just have to be careful. Yeah. No running on the pool deck, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> no upon. triple flips off the diving board. No. Yeah. No cannonballs. Cannonballs. Yeah. Um, I mean, we recognize that water therapy is good after certain yes. injuries and certain types of surgery. So we do want to get you back in the pool if that's your thing, if you're getting some sort of water therapy and that's part of your physio. We just want that wound to be sort of closed up and healed before you submerge it. And I think just about the pool and not really related to the wound, but if you are doing water therapy, ideally it's in a pool that has some type of graduated entrance if it's for a hip replacement. Right. You don't want to be going down that ladder. I think that yeah. would ask a lot of a new hip. Or the ocean. Or, the, or big waves, yeah. You can. Beached. All right, so hopefully that gives you an idea of how to care for that wound and when it's safe to have a shower or have a hot tub, swimming pool, submerged, that kind of stuff. Always discuss it with your nurse or doctor, and if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to our channel. And remember, you are in charge of your own health. And your own wound. See you next time.